G'day folks, welcome to a uh, little Monday injector day. <laughs> I've got some uh, more common rail injectors. These are for my Mercedes. These aren't the ones that are in the engine at the moment. These are an extra set that I bought on eBay. I uh, picked them up for 400 bucks, uh, which is pretty much cheap by used Mercedes common rail injector standards. Uh, one of them seems to be a bit iffy, the other ones look really clean and serviceable. I'm going to send them off and get them tested. This one here has probably had its day. Um, the tip off was not only the fact that it was so well stuck that they've used mole grips or vice grips to try and extract it from the head, but the um, golden brown colour of the spill return line and the uh, even the fuel input line was a bit rusty looking. I wonder if it's even off a different engine, probably a, another scrap engine sitting out in the yard. I'd say they've just yanked it out of a dead cylinder head and uh, thrown it in with the lot. But I'm not too fussed about that for what I paid for them. It's a good source of parts anyway. The piezo should still work and be cleanable and serviceable. The body itself, maybe, maybe not. The internals can be replaced. Plenty of service kits out there for them. Obviously still the shops needed to do the job, but it's uh, I'd say it's had exhaust gases getting into the uh, system itself because it comes all the way back up to the top, to the spill line, you see all that deposit in there and it comes all the way up into the cap and through the spill line so I'd say this one's actually blown past the main end cap and has been contaminating the system with uh, exhaust gases. The cap itself is very pitted too, so it's suffered from the Black Death for a very long time. That cylinder was probably dead. That's probably why that engine got junked. The whole car got junked because they just ran it far too long with a wrecked injection system and just completely rooted that engine. The OM612 uh, 2.7 litre common rail diesel is a very solid lump. They're a good engine, but if you let ancillary stuff go bad for too long, you'll destroy it. And they're not cheap to replace. So, I'd say somebody, whatever this, uh, these, these came out of an ML270. Uh, the fifth one, I don't even know where the fifth one was. The seller was only selling four out of five. I'm guessing the fifth one was either permanently stuck in there or destroyed. But, I'd say this engine was just run into the ground. That one's been serviced, nice clean, almost pit, pit free tip, fairly recent cap, but pitted body. That one suffered from the black death, but they've sent it off to the shop. That one there is fairly pitted, it's had, a, had its day, but it's still not too bad, but that one there looks a bit cleaner. So they've spent a bit of time in the shop. Again, they'll, they'll go off to AG Diesel and get flow tested and cleaned and all that sort of stuff. They'll make them nice again. This one here, I might throw it in for the hell of it, but I don't want to pay a hundred bucks just to be told what I sort of know, that it's rooted. I don't know what AGDs will charge for a flow and clean test on some injectors like that, but if it's fairly expensive, I won't even bother sending this one in. I'll just send those three. That way I've got something I can swap into the car whenever I want and be done with it. Granted, I'm still a couple of cylinders short, at least that's three, and then the three that I take out of the engine, I can send them off to AG, and if two of them come back good, well, I'm all in the green. Still got to fix that air leak that getting into the uh, diesel system first, though. I'll do that, then I'll look at injectors. I know I'm leaking. I know there's a few, definitely a leak down. The fuel rail loses pressure very quickly, and there's a lot of chuffing and carrying on on startup. Not incredibly bad, no real black smoke or anything, but one of the injectors is just weeping out the tip. I'm getting a lot of incomplete combustion. Um, that's a tool for removing them. I haven't had to use it properly yet. I was got lucky when I pulled Elise's fifth cylinder injector out. I was just able to wiggle it back and forth and sort of push up on it with a screwdriver and it popped out. Um, a lot of the time you have to take all of this out, take this part of the tool set and remove that inner piece there, unscrew that, then screw that down inside the injector body with this on top 
and then tighten this nut down and jack the thing out. So it's a fairly uh, extensive procedure for removing one that's fully black deathed into place. And when I say black death, I mean the copper copper o-ring, the copper seal on this end of this cap leaks combustion byproducts past the cap and out around the injector, fully carbonising it into place. It's basically setting it in carbonite like Han Solo. Nothing short of a miracle can uh, free that one up. So, yeah, if you hear of a Mercedes with black death, be prepared for a bit of work if you buy it. I knew what I was getting into. I bought the tool set for 30 bucks. Somebody bought it, bought the wrong one, then relisted it on eBay. Cheap. I think they're actually quite expensive if you buy them from the store. But I got lucky. So, that's today's little rambly injector today. These ones are pretty good. I mean, if they come to me capped, I'd uh, probably put them in the car, but I want to get that uh, fitting all cleaned out and everything. I'll, I'll just send them off to the shop. The tips don't appear to have been wire wheeled. They've been cleaned down with a rag, but they haven't been uh, hit with a wire brush, thankfully. Um, yeah, or at least that part there has, but it looks like from what I could see up close they haven't uh, done a sinful thing and actually wire wheeled the very tip. That would be a very bad thing. I'll have a look under the, at them under the scope. If they have wire wheeled the tips and wrecked the uh, little holes in the tips of them, I might even consider sending them back, but I don't think that's the case. It doesn't look like it. Anyway, that's what the microscope will tell me. Thanks for watching.